एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू एडिव सर्च स्मॉल टॉक सीरीज वेर वी डिस्कस सम की टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू कॉमन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस सो आफ्टर वी पुट अप द वीडियो ऑफ सी टी पैंक्रिया प्रोटोकॉल देर वर अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज ऑन सी टी लिवर प्रोटोकॉल सो टूडे टू कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन ऑन प्रोटोकॉल सी टीज फॉर द एबडोम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लिवर प्रोटोकॉल सी टी For all of you who have not seen the pancreas protocol video, I will share a link in the description so that you can have a look at that video as well. As we have discussed some basics of what is a protocol CT and the basics of IV contrast, bolus tracking, and such terms in that video. So we will not repeat that in this video, and we will directly see why a CT liver protocol is important. so in your exams or in your clinics many times you see images like these right and these four images are very different and this is what we are going to learn today why these images are required why these four images out of the thousands of images that ct liver protocol does can give you a diagnosis so we will come back to this slide later but keep this in mind that all these four images are different so for ct liver protocol the timing for acquisition is different from that of ct pancreas protocol so what are the phases in ct liver protocol the phases are a non contrast phase or the pre contrast phase which is at 0 seconds followed by early arterial phase which is at 15 seconds from the injection so if you are using an injector the timing for starting the early arterial phase is 15 seconds after the injection late arterial phase is at around 30 seconds portal venous phase that is the contrast will reach portal vein at 70 seconds and especially in liver protocol there is a delayed phase and they can take phases at 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes this is predominantly for picking up lesions like cholangiocarcinoma which pick up contrast very late so these are the common phases that are taken in a ct liver protocol so let us dive into our console now this is the first case that we are going to discuss we'll discuss around three cases today to just highlight the importance of a protocol ct as well as the importance of taking the scans in the right time and of course you will have small quizzes where you can identify the lesions so this is the first case that we have and i am sure you have identified by now and i'll just roll the cursor down to highlight the differences as you can see on the left of your screen the aorta is not filled with contrast whereas on the right of your screen the aorta is filled with contrast right so the left one is a plain or the pre contrast image whereas the right one is the arterial phase and this is early or late i had told you in the ct pancreas protocol that if you can see filling of the portal vein but portal vein is not as bright as the artery then it is a late arterial phase but if you can't see the portal vein at all it is an early arterial phase right so here if you compare i'll just label it for you the green arrow shows the portal vein right the green arrow shows the portal vein and you can see that the portal vein is just about filling right it is just about filling so this is late arterial phase right this is late arterial phase where the portal vein is just about filling and the arteries are having more contrast than the portal vein so here you can see the lesion right this is the lesion in the arterial phase which you can't see in the plain image right so the contrast was important in this case and advising a liver protocol was very helpful so plain image you can't see the lesion arterial phase 
the lesion is enhancing very well you can also see some vessels coursing through the lesion right another important thing that you have to see in this phase is the arterial anatomy is there a variant anatomy or is it arising from the celiac we have already done a video on celiac axis uh, evaluation so that you can see but this liver protocol delayed arterial phase is showing normal hepatic arterial anatomy and a tumor which is enhancing very well on the arterial phase. Now let us see the portal venous and the delayed phase and identify what kind of tumor this is. So now we have the other two phases of this liver protocol. I am sure you know by now that one is portal venous phase and the other is a venous phase or the delayed phase, right? So, I'll just scroll for a bit and I am sure you will be able to identify the portal venous phase and the venous phase in this case. In this case, we don't have a delayed phase. I am giving you the pointer, right? I think it should be clear by now. Okay. So again we see the same thing. We see the portal vein. So I have marked the portal vein in both images. Remove the mark. So now when you trace the portal vein, you can see that the left sided image shows the portal vein in a very nice way. Right? So, the contrast is filling the portal vein very well in the left sided image on your screen. However, the tumor is not filling as much as we saw it in the arterial phase. Right? I will show one more scan where you will have arterial and portal venous together. This scan study is so as to identify the liver protocol. Right? So, I am not discussing the tumor in detail in this. These cases are just so that you identify the importance of a liver protocol, right? Just giving some bits and pieces of the case as well because these are actual cases that were managed by us, right? So the left on your screen is a portal venous phase because you can see the portal vein filling very far nicely and why is it not a late arterial phase? Because the aorta as well as the hepatic artery is not even visualized, right? portal vein is better visualized. So this is a portal venous phase on the left of your screen and a hepatic venous or delayed phase on the right of your screen. Now why this is hepatic venous phase? Because you can see contrast in the veins and light faint contrast in the portal vein, right? If there was no contrast in the portal vein and the hepatic veins also showed faint contrast, but the contrast was filling back in the heart, right sided heart, right? That is when it is a delayed phase, right? So here you can see just filling of contrast in the right side of the heart. You can see the hepatic veins very well on the right side of your screen and the tumor has completely washed out, right? The tumor has completely washed out. So case wise, no points for guessing. This is a very clear case of hepatocellular carcinoma with arterial filling and portal venous and delayed phase washout. So this is the second case in our liver protocol presentation and again I'll just scroll the concern down now so that you can try and identify the lesion on your own as well as the phases and then we'll discuss very quickly. Right? Of course, if you find it difficult, don't worry. This is just to show you the liver protocol. This presentation is not for identifying what the tumor or lesion is, right? Just identify the phases and bonus if you can identify the lesion as well, right? Okay. So I'm sure most of you have identified by now that on the left of your screen is the plain scan and why it is plain is because the aorta where the cursor is right now is not filling up with contrast right so 
so aorta is not filling up with contrast so this is the plain scan why is it not delayed well a good question because you can't see the hepatic veins you can't see any contrast in the heart in any of the chambers so most probably this is not a delayed phase this is a pre-contrast phase right on the right of your screen you can see the aorta is filled with contrast so now what you have to see is the portal vein right so stepwise identification of phases if the aorta is wide and the portal vein is not visible at all then it is an early arterial phase or the hepatic angiography phase here you can see where my cursor is that is the portal vein so when you compare it with the plain image the portal vein shows a slight filling of the contrast so this is late arterial phase exactly so as i told you routine protocol scans don't do early arterial phase unless it is specifically asked for or it is a mistimed acquisition of images so this is late arterial phase which previously we called as pancreatic parenchymal phase right so this is the late arterial phase and you can see the lesion filling up with contrast right this is the lesion if we want to go a bit into the details this is the left branch of the portal vein entering the fissure so the lesion is in segment 2 and 3 right it's okay if you don't want to go into those details but the lesion is in segment 2 and 3 right so now we will see further into this case so now this is another two phases of the same patient and this is where i will highlight a very important point so you just go through it and see if you can identify the pointer that i wish to highlight So of course you are aware that the left of your screen is the late arterial phase because the portal vein is just about filling. Now the problem with the right sided image is that the artery is still very well visualized and the portal vein is not very well visualized. Right? It should have been more white or more filled with contrast in the portal venous phase. So though the right sided phase has been described as the portal venous phase it is essentially something between the delayed arterial phase and the portal venous phase and that is why timing of acquisition is very important sometimes this can happen because of different hemodynamic reasons as well i will not go into details of it contrast dilution hemodynamic effects there are a lot of factors that affect but what is essentially important to know is that you should not label this as a tumor which is filling up in portal phase okay this is a tumor which is relatively washing out in the portal phase and that is why you need to see both of them together right but this is not the best portal venous phase to assess this lesion right the other point about portal venous phase is that the hepatic veins are just about filling in the portal venous phase so here you can see a part of the left hepatic vein but you can't see the other hepatic veins very well and that is again a indicator that the phase is not very well timed right so of course to summarize this case the patient turned out to be hepatocellular carcinoma and underwent a left lateral hepatectomy right so that is what we did for this case now let us go to our third and the last case so again i'll just move the cursor and you can identify the lesion on your own i have not kept the plane in this going directly into the phases i'll scroll again this is an important point because you identify the phases here again an important point there are some brownie points if you can identify this in this case some very interesting points here okay i am sure few of them 
I'm sure few of you would have identified what I want to show. No reason to worry because we are going to discuss these diseases separately. Okay. So at least phases, let us see the left one. I'm sure most of you recognize by now the aorta is filled with contrast, right? The aorta is filled with contrast and the portal vein is just about visible. So this is the late arterial phase. The left hand side is the late arterial phase. On the right hand side, you can see the portal vein is very well filled. Portal vein is very well filled and the hepatic veins are also visible, right? Middle hepatic vein, right hepatic vein, also visible, right? Probably the left combining with middle, right? Or the branch of middle hepatic vein. So this is the portal venous phase. So right side is the portal venous phase, left side is the late arterial phase that is how you need to identify these scans now if you compare the two scans you can see filling up here you can see contrast filling up the lesion in the portal venous phase right the portal venous phase peripheries of the lesion are more contrast filled compared to the late arterial phase and as we go into the delayed phase you will see why protocol imaging is important. Now the brownie points that I was talking about, there are two very important findings in this scan. One is that there is a tumor thrombus in the portal vein. Few of you would have identified this because that is not the focus of this lesson, but you can not see the left, left portal vein. You can not see the left portal vein and that is because there is a tumor thrombus in the portal vein. Why is this a tumor thrombus? Because if you see in the arterial phase, uh, there is a faint enhancement at the thrombus, which is not there in the portal phase, right? So tumor thrombus usually are arterially enhancing and this was a tumor thrombus, right? So a tumor thrombus in the portal vein up to the main portal vein, right? This is the main portal vein, so you can see the tumor thrombus. Another important point which made this case inoperable is this nodal mass, right? There is a nodal mass at the hilum. So there is a nodal mass. Another important point is that the hepatic artery is replaced. It is not coming from the celiac, okay? Hepatic artery is replaced. So these were some of the pointers in this interesting case. This patient turned out to be intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma and that is why the filling starts in the portal phase and goes on in the delayed phase, right? So just to summarize this case on the left of your screen now is a five minute delayed phase. And you can see that the lesion is enhancing more and more compared to the portal venous phase as well, right? So that is why this was a cholangiocarcinoma. So now that we have seen these cases and we have learned about the liver protocol CT, we come back to our first slide of four images. And I'm sure now it's easy for you as we have discussed this case. This is the pre-contrast image where you can't even see the lesion. This is the early arterial phase. You can see the aorta lighting up. So this is an arterial phase image. This is a portal venous phase. You can see the portal veins sculpting the tumor, right? You can see the portal veins sculpting. So this is the portal venous phase. And this is the delayed phase where you can see the tumor washing out rapidly compared to the parenchyma. And as we have already discussed this case, you know that this is a hepatocellular carcinoma. So this is why liver protocol CT is important. If you see only one of these phases, you will not be able to diagnose the lesions. So always have a habit of viewing the scans on the console. Always view all the phases and view them in all the three axes, sagittal, coronal and axial. So that is it for CT liver protocol. We will discuss specific liver lesions in upcoming videos of radiology. 
as well as we will also have some discussions with our radiologist as well in some of our webinars so you can tune into that a very nice discussion on lyrage was done by dr amar in our webinar on hcc so you can have a look at that as well so stay tuned subscribe to our channel share it to your colleagues so that the community grows till we meet next time thank you